Is Wonka the best film of 2023? Today we're gonna look at 5 different arguments on why this could be your film of the year. But first, I gotta drive to a special guest. First, Wonka's director Paul King really got the same feel-good tone into Wonka as he did to his Paddington films. And not just that, the fact that Wonka is just as enjoyable for children as for parents directly contributes to its favorable reviews and easily makes Wonka a special holiday film. Now that it has such... Ah, oh, of course, the soundtrack. The soundtrack has some incredibly catchy songs, the dance choreography was masterfully performed and the lyrics are pretty innovative. And it's not just the soundtrack, if you combine it with beautiful and large-scale cinematography, you really seem to create an amazing cinematic musical. Something they already did in the 50s. I gotta turn left. Cinematographer Chiu Hung Chung really seemed like the perfect casting for Wonka. He created a visually stunning film, popping in every shot and the camera moved with superb energy. Together with bright colors, because hey, that's how colored psychology works. Come on, open the door, you know what, you can- Listen up you useless Wonka. Oh, that's why he came here. Come on, give me a hug. Oh, that feels so good. That's also part of the Wonka film. What? Our hug? No. It genuinely delivers an emotional blow in the last phase of the movie. Especially audiences who have a special attachment to the first Wilder film will be in tears. And that in a bright musical film. Hey. Are you daydreaming again? Yeah, pfft, as if I was night dreaming. Do you see that? Oh well. A work of great imagination together with real personality can also be included. Sorry, this is a little confusing. Well, what the filmmakers did was combining imagination with personality to deliver a compelling story. Wonka's character is quite easy to relate to, and when you add a bit of fantasy, such as a no daydreaming sign? Exactly. Oh, that's brilliant. You really are a funny minifigure. No, I'm not funny. The movie is. Cause finally, Wonka also has a lot of humor. It has a silly sense of comedy but easily reaches a very large audience. Much like, I'm getting back to it again, the Paddington movies. Couldn't this be the film of the year? If I can speak for myself, I think it comes very close, but I will leave it up to you. 